Okay, so my storehouse runs have reset. I'm using the storehouse portion of this event and the experience ticket portion of the event to level up some links to 210. Uh, specifically characters I don't really want to level, so I did the Mercedes, I'm doing the Phantom. Because I don't like playing Phantom. It feels not fun to play and it feels weak. So I do it like this. The beach. Uh, what I will say, the way I do it is you just stack as many experience buffs as you can on yourself. That's really all you gotta do. Uh, I guess let me put on damage links and stuff too. Just so I do a little bit more damage to these things. Uh, this one... Definitely want Rune Persistence. I guess I'll take the Ilium Link now that I have it. Uh, what else do I want? That? Sure. Why not? But basically the only important links here are Elven Blessing and the Rune Link. Because you want to pre-pop a rune before you go in as well. Phantom has the benefit of being able to steal Holy Symbol as well. Uh, do I have gold pots on this character? I don't. Oh, I can get MVP too? I think I missed it. Shit, I didn't see that. But if I can snag MVP, that'd be nice. Most likely missed it, though. Yeah, I missed it. That sucks. It's like whatever, though. Uh, if I hadn't missed it, though, that would have been just an extra bonus, which would have been nice. But basically, we're just trying to stack up as much uh, of a multiplier as we can. I don't have any gold pots in there. And to be quite honest with you, I am far too lazy to swap for 10% XP, so I won't do that. The only other thing I have to do now is find a rune. So, I will find a rune. Let's go to a random map and kill stuff. Obviously, Phantom, very not strong when it's a Link skill character like I have it. Ba -ba -ba, look for a rune. Come on, Mr. Rune. Go ahead and spawn. There you go, Rune of Skill. Not the greatest rune in the world, but it's okay. Let's go to Henny so I don't die trying to teleport back. I'm gonna go to the storehouse. Enter the storehouse. And we are also gonna pop this stuff. I'll pop this for the damage, why not? Then we have our rune timer. Kill stuff in here. Just quite a good amount of time, all things considered. And the only thing we really have to make sure is that we have our um, holy symbol up. Also, don't want to die. So used to having auto pop pets. But thank god you have a buff freezer's perma. Keep all your buffs. Doesn't really matter. God damn, these things hit hard. I just saw that thing almost kill me in one fucking hit. No wonder why I died. Because I avoid the majority of them. But when I don't, I really don't. Did you feel me? Feels like I have to stare at my health bar, my god. Uh, 
but I think my plan is to try to storehouse characters up to level 200. And then from 200 to 210, I'll use the experience coupons from the fishing event. I might start using the tickets from the fishing event a bit earlier. If I find that the storehouse is just a bit too slow. I'm actually going to have to get two runes for the phantom this time around. These things scale up fucking hard, man. Holy shit. It's also nice that you don't get the XP debuff in here. I'm dead already. Chill, brother. I would say it feels like there's like a fucking survivability buff that I'm missing, but I don't think there is. I think this is just how it's supposed to be. Because when you dodge, it's fine, but once you stop dodging, it's not fine no more. You put in some points, maybe that'll help. Oh boy, I'm getting hit now. Love that for me. Don't kill me, brother. Cast Holy Symbol, do this. Put in some bonus XP. Sure, man. Maybe some normal monster damage. Sure. Also, feels like I can't use a potion when I'm using Cardinal Deluge. Like, when I press my attack button and pot, I pot doesn't go through. Weird. look at my skills and stuff after this to see if I'm missing a toggle or a buff or something. Because I very well could be. Oh my god. Chill. Leave me alone. I don't have my rune no more. But uh, my rune disappeared so I'm just going to chill for a bit while I can get my rune back. And in the meantime... Let's try to figure out why the fuck I'm getting my ass eaten in a bad way. Uh, obviously, I don't have all my skill skilled, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's loadout. There is nothing on the buff macro. This is not a buff anymore. This used to be a buff. This is not a buff anymore. This is just like... Uh, Nightwalker's thing that revives them, self-door. Yeah, I just fucking... I get my ass eaten. I think that's all there is to be said. Do I have any mess though? I do. Go buy some pots, because I'm almost out of fucking pots. Uh, Sprout Pot. We'll do 200. Why not? Boom. Boom. Uh, Alright, now I just have to wait. But as you can see... 7, 8... Uh, yeah, it's 7 levels. Uh, 7 levels in like 10 minutes. Not bad. Obviously, if you're able to clear it in the sort of time it takes you, then yeah. You don't have to wait for the rune, but... You know, how it be.
obviously I probably should fix my gear, i.e. like equip more things, but I don't want to fucking put effort into this character in the slightest. So, consequences of my actions, I will accept that. I'll be back when we get our rune. Took a little bit of a cat petting break, but it is time to find us a rune. Once again. Bounty Hunter portal appeared. What one? The regular? Wonder how much this will give. Ooh, we got a good one too. Am I even going to be able to clear this on this character? The answer is probably not. Yeah, this is not a Link character that I put uh, love or effort into. It's just not for me, you know? If you know, you know. Definitely feel like Phantom is one of those characters that you just have to want to main or truly love it. I unfortunately do not vibe super hard with it. That was a fun little intermission. I am going to have to buy another 15 minute coupon, but it doesn't really matter. I typically don't use them all in a day anyways. That's just me being a, a bad daily gamer though. That's okay. You don't have to do things that you don't want. No? Got a rune, another rune of skill. Early telling me that I lack something. Uh, perhaps skill? Who knows? I don't take it personally though, it's okay. So let's actually go to the island because I need to buy another coupon. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. One of these bad boys is is is. All right, let me back in, little man. Did not mean to do that. That's fine, though. I should probably skill Tempest, but... I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. I'm either going to dodge everything, or I'm going to get, like, two shot. Tempest isn't going to make that any different. <laughs> can't get over how good the experience is. This event is going to be so nice for me. I mean, it's going to be so nice for quite literally everyone who needs characters to level. But me specifically, smile face. Am I going to get another level or is this the end of the road? Yeah, it definitely doesn't let me pot when I'm using this attack. Very weird.
I have to do it when I'm not casting it. Or not actively pressing it, rather. Alright, so that's the storehouse clear. And that got us 10 levels, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not bad. So, I'll pop in and do it after reset again. I don't want to use my tickets outside of level 200. Um, mostly because you can't. Right? But, I also don't want to use this on my main. Because, I feel like... Experience pots from 200 to 210 are much rarer than most things in the game. Like, generic growth pots or whatever, right? But... Hopefully that kind of makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I don't know if it's, like, the best thing to do. Anyways. Uh, do I have my lesion button bound? I don't. What is my legion looking like? Can't use my legion here. Fair enough. 6776. We're almost at 960 coins, which is what it's going to take to tier up to the next rank. Uh, the 6500 rank. Hmm. Just trying to think. I could experience coupon these characters to 210 as well, but there's no, like, a reason to, because I don't have a level 3 link skill. I might try leveling, like, Demon Avenger to 200 manually, so I have another character I can ticket. Because I think I'm probably going to have more tickets than I can reasonably use, but I don't know for sure if that's true or not. I don't know. I'll do some thinking and um, research off camera so I don't bore you all to death. Quick little update here. Nothing too crazy. We're just taking a look at our Legion. Uh, I have a thousand coins. I've also been working on the Legion. Uh, notably, I am hand leveling the Demon Avenger up to 200 so I can coupon him to 210. And then the Phantom is getting storehoused up to 200 and then we'll be couponed to 210 as well. I'm going to try to hard focus on Legion to get it to 8k before the events go away, because these events are how you say B-A-N-A-N-A-S. That being said, 6500 Legion, 960 coins, bing bang boom, we're up to 29 boys and or girls. Uh, and that means I get to slot in another honorary member, thinking we go with the Bow Master, because that's the highest Legion power. And I don't think any of these are useful, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, none of them are useful. So, Bowmaster it is, assign unit, get me some more of that XP, why not? Then, for this, apply assign units. Get you some more crit or boss damage, whatever the fuck that is. Bing, bang, boom. Obviously, I need to fix up my boards yet again, because as my Legion expands, my characters level up, the boards expand, the blocks expand. I'll do it later. I'm lazy. I hate having to update it every time I click uh, upgrade on my Legion, so I just wait. I wait. I will bide my time. Our next rank up is going to be at 7k, unsurprisingly, and it's going to cost us just a thousand coins flat, 29 to 30. At the rate I'm going, I will for sure hit 7k before I hit the required coins to rank up again, which is sort of my goal. So, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, 7,500 might be a rough push before we get the coins, but we'll see. We'll see how hard I end up going. Another day, another day in the storehouse. You already know what time it is. Gotta find our rune. Then we go back to the fucking hell zone. I did scale, or a skill, scale, skill tempest. So. Be a little bit easier to clear shit this time on the old phantom. 
Uh, Rune of Riches it is, I suppose. Head back to Henny. Henny! I need my XP thing. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't have MVP buff because there was none. I waited a little bit before uh, doing this. Just to see if I could snag an MVP buff. No MVP. It's fine. Okay. Drop this. Drop a Tempest. I cannot wait to be done with this fucking character, though. My god. Phantom is just not my cuppa. Little weak paper boy. Should make it so you can flash jump while tempesting IMO. Yep, yep, yep. Add me to the design team. I'm fucking a genius. A genie ass. Emphasis on the ass, of course. Wonder how high this is gonna get me. I was at 183. Probably gonna have to need another day to get to 200. But if it gets me close enough, I mean, I guess I'll grind it out. I don't know. This class is spooky. Spooky in the sense that I don't want to play it. Might actually be able to finish this in one rune this time. I'm keeping a fucking eye on my health bar. It's the only thing I'm looking at. Believe you me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it in one rune though. I just don't think I do enough damage with the uh, Cardinal Deluge, Cardinal Burst, whatever the skill is. I wonder if using uh, my actual fourth job skill would be better. I don't know. I had this stolen, so I'm just using it because I assume it's what I should be using. I have not looked up shit. If you look up minimum effort in the dictionary, uh, this character is what would pop up for sure. I got 40 seconds on rune. There is officially a 0% chance I finish this. But I am level 190 on the bright side. God damn are these things tanky now. Stop hitting me! 20 seconds. Hit him with one of these, maybe? 
Can I get one more level? No. It's time for me to take my exit. I did get one more level, though. I have 150 mobs. All right. It was close. Uh, Put in XP. Cool. Max out XP. Sure. All right. Wait until I can get another rune, I suppose. All right. I found us a rune of recovery. Honestly, one of the best runes for this character on God. We'll finish up our storehouse run. Got a little bit of XP from grinding for like a minute, but nothing too crazy. I think I'll probably end today at another plus 10 levels or so, if I had to guess. Seems like that's about the max with the boost that I have currently, which is still pretty fucking good, all things considered. Close to 193. Looks like we're just gonna be stopping a little shy of it. Which is fine. Nine levels, not bad. Hopefully able to finish this up tomorrow with a storehouse run. If not, I will probably grind it out. Well, because we only need to get to 199, right? Because I can still do the Haven quest, which is good. Anyways, that's the storehouse runs for today on uh, Sujambi. Sujambi. Alright, so this is the character that I've been hand-leveling uh, today. Well, yesterday and today. No reason other than I think I'm going to have a bunch of excess experience tickets if I only bank on getting characters to 200 from storehouse. And... Obviously, Legion is, like, my primary focus, so let me pop my XP buffs and shit. But, um... Yeah, Demon Avenger isn't, like, terrible. It's okay. I have, like, no real big complaints about it. At least as far as leveling goes. There's an MVP, channel 2749. So, 27, I'll try to remember that. It's, like, nothing fantastic, but it's, like, fine for leveling. Definitely not, and definitely not what I would consider one of the worst classes. But also, it's not, like, a Luminous or anything. I'm gonna get this to 200, though, and then try to figure out how many tickets exactly it's gonna cost to go from 200 to 210, so I know for future characters and, like, I can sort of map out how many tickets we get and how many I can spend and whatnot, but... I mean, I could do that now, but I'd rather just wait to do it, because that's how I've mapped it out in my mind palace, you know? Anyways, I'll be grinding. I'll see you guys when I get to one... 199 which is actually level 200 all right like 30 minutes later my dude's level 200 let's see how many uh hanger mabobs this bitch takes to get from 200 to 210 i know i could look up the table but look man i might as well do it by doing so 296 to 201 sure 325 to 202. 355. 386. 421. 461. 
548. That brings us to 208. When we obviously don't have enough. To 193. I can do this one more time this week, so... I probably won't hit 210 from this. It'll probably take a little bit more. So I'd say it probably takes about 4,000 points. To, uh get from 200 to 210 with tickets which is not bad we will be back when i have more to finish it off figured i'd do a little check-in i'm just grinding on my demon slayer demon slayer is going to be the next 200 i hit uh most likely not going to grind it to 210 i'm just going to park it at 200 for now but i don't think i'm going to hit 200 in this play session though i very easily could there's only 30 activations of the otter thing per day per character. This thing right here. And I think the best use of my time is to maximize the amount of uses per day uh, per character, right? So I have nine more activations for it today on this character. I'm going to max out the activations and then quit playing the character for the day. If I still feel like playing, I'll hop on another character and try to max out that character's activations as well, right? That's sort of how I've been playing it. Uh, not sure what character I would do after Demon Slayer. Um, I don't have any more characters like already pre-built like I did my Demon Avenger. Uh, my Demon Slayer is like very ghetto. I haven't even found an Ensler weapon. So I'm still using the fucking Jamili weapon. Which is not ideal. But is what it is. We make do here. And I'm at this map. Saucer map. Spooky aliens. Uh, mostly because... You're kind of forced to go to this map now. Uh, since you have to train at Star Force maps. I should make an updated training guide. Um, I do have some people asking me where I go now. Not very many, but some people ask me where to go. And I mean, even if one person asks, I feel like I should probably do the thing, because I enjoy helping at the end of the day. But this is me on the Demon Slayer. Just fucking straight vibing, basically. I do like these mobs, at least. They're very funny to me. I like the big head aliens. I want them to abduct me. Take me to their leader. If you know what I'm saying. As far as leveling the Demon Slayer, though, this has been pretty chill. Especially for how scuffed my gear is. Another reason why I've been, like, hard-focusing these characters with this event is because my budding sprout title that I've transferred to this character expires in January. But the real important part about this title is the fact that it gives 30 Star Force. Uh, 30 Star Force is a lot of Star Force. And without this title, I would need to... I would need some boss accessories in order to go to the last Star Force zones, right? Like, I'm at 146 Star Force out of 140 right now on this map. Um, so I'm, like, barely above the Star Force requirement for the map that I'm in right now with the Titan. But, obviously, I've been very unlucky with my gear. I haven't gotten the Treasure Hunter John ring either. I have a face accessory, and that's it. Um, I have fucking Kubrock shoulders and rose earrings. And then pencil ear gear. So. The title lets you get by with, like, not needing RNG drops, which is what I really enjoy. Also, the fact that it's just a good title for leveling, right? So that's another reason why I've been focusing on my Legion kind of hard with this event. I just want to make that I'm done with as many things as I can reasonably be done with uh, before my 
nice resources like the title and this event just pee pee poof. Because I don't want that to happen, if at all possible. Anyway, you can see leveling is still pretty fast. Runes are fucking broken. I think I'll leave you guys here. I'm gonna keep killing these fucking saucers and purging the world of aliens. Uh, alien overlords, if you're watching this, please be nice to me. I'm just kidding. Alright. So I just finished this daily storehouse for this week. My last one for the week. I'm the Phantom. I uh, got to level 230%. I wanted to make sure I hit it. So I popped a personal MVP. And I also transferred over gold pots and shit. I also finally got the free puff ram. I forgot. I had never gotten it on this character. So I had an auto HP potter. To prevent me from dying like the fucking potato I am. Um... So, my Phantom is basically done, all things considered. I might as well do the Haven quest, even though it won't give me a level anymore. But it'll still give me some XP. And some XP is better than none XP. You know? But, I'm gonna finish EXP vouchering the Demon Avenger, which I am about to go log into and do right after this. Because I still have the 1,000 tickets from today that I got. Uh, and then I'll have to wait until next reset. But it is nice to be making so much uh, progress all together. Uh, I think I'm doing a fairly decent job uh, with it for how much time that I have invested uh, and I'm able to play. I think I'm doing all right. On top of this, I'm always doing all my dailies on my Nightwalker, so I'm doing the Ursus, I'm doing Monster Park, I'm doing Maple Tour, I'm doing Cernium, I'm doing Arcane River. Uh, and then I'm also doing all of the Arcane River dailies on my Thunderbreaker, and then I, the remainder of the time goes into the Link characters. So, whether that be things like just grinding a Demon Avenger or a Demon Slayer, or doing like Storehouse and shit on the Phantom, but it's focused on Link skills. I think this is decent because this event, I, I just, this event in combination with the fact that my budding sprout title is going to expire in January and because of the new changes and everything. Yeah. That gave us like 30 more percent. Not bad. Um, not great, but obviously free is free and we take those. So I will put everything back in storage. I no longer need it to be on this character since I'm done grinding. This is an experience potion slash coupon guy only now. Uh, that being said, we can hop over to... Oh, this ID is already logged in. Well, I'm going to hop onto the Demon Avenger. Alright, the game has decided to let us back on. A little voice crack for you guys there. I always love that. Uh, I want to use my experience points. 600 get to 209 so i for sure won't have enough to get to 210 593 that'll get me to 90% which is very close i've already done the haven quest line on this character honestly might just grind out the last like 10% depends on how i feel i probably won't actually i'm lazy i'll just wait for the next reset and get the last level like that I still have two experience coupons on this character. Maybe I will grind it out. I don't know. We'll see how I feel in a bit. But you can see I decided to just try to get the level. And the percentage is fast enough. So I'll probably be able to finish it in like a couple minutes. I'm just at Scrapyard because I don't want to do the fifth job advancement quests for 10% of the last level. So, I'm just chilling here. Uh, but this will be another level 3 Link skill in the bag, which is super hype, and I'm very happy about the progress. Uh, and then after this, I'm going to go hop on my Demon Slayer and keep leveling that. Get all the activations of the Otter buff done on that character again today. Uh, I actually don't think I'll need to play him that much. He's almost level 200 as it is. Uh, and then what character am I going to do after Demon Slayer to 200? I'm not sure. I'll have to sit down and look at my 
characters, figure out what characters look entertaining to me, uh, see what buffs they give, legion wise, link skill wise. Uh, I know I should do Arc, but I think I'm just going to level up Pot Arc and Storehouse him, because I don't like playing Arc. Uh, but Arc level 3 Link is really good. I know that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to sit down and take a look. But... Gotta finish up the Demon Avenger first. Which shouldn't take too much longer. I'm basically done. So, I'll hit the level on this character, finish up the Demon Slayer, and then if I still have time or I still want to play, I will try to figure out something else. I'm just trying to think about what characters I have that I still need to level, uh, or characters that I want to level, even. But, yeah. These events are fucking amazing, so... Would highly recommend if you don't already have, like, Legion done to the point of you being satisfied. So, like, whatever you think is, like, done for you, right? Like, 8k isn't done, but I think 8k will be done for me in the sense that I'm not going to actively push for higher than that. I don't think. Um, obviously, I may still push for higher, but I don't think I will. Because this isn't what I enjoy most about this game, or like games in general. I typically don't like leveling a bunch of characters over and over. I typically am like a very number go up, dopamine kind of guy. And I mean, this is like in a very roundabout way, number go up, but I like focusing on a main character, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Surely, it makes sense to someone. But there's 210. Uh, so that's nice. Another one done. Demon Avenger was alright. Wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst class in the game. So, neat. So I was doing what I said I was going to do, and I'm looking through the Link skill list here. I'm seeing what Link skills have a level 3 that I would want. So I'm already working on Demon Slayer, so this isn't a factor. Beast Tamer is like the only other character with a level 3 Link that's like, I think, reasonably good. But I think Beast Tamer would probably be more enjoyable for me to play in Storehouse. So I think I'm going to just Growth Pot Arc and be done with it. Because I don't like playing Arc at all. Its transformation mechanics are not for me. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with saying that. It's just not for me. Uh, I think I'm a very old school player in the sense that I like to press one button and then I want that button to kill the bad guys. I don't want to have to use a thousand million different cooldowns and all that fucking mumbo jumbo. Anyways, give me 10 levels, please. Nice. Give me 10 levels again. Oh. Oh my goodness. Now we're only getting one level. That was a good one. Alright, so 141 to 185 out of my 10 pots. Neato. Two minutes to go from 141 to 185. What a class. So after that giant bonk potioning, uh, I'm at 6950 Legion right now. Just on the Demon Slayer, because I'm about to actually play the Demon Slayer. But nothing too crazy. I don't remember if I've shown clips of the Demon Slayer or not, but... Yeah, I also got the fucking mana elixirs in there, just in case my Demon Fury gets a little too low, you know? My, my little ram boy will... Uh, this guy's gear is fucking straight ass, but I have enough Star Force with the title. And again, the Budding Sprout title giving 30 Star Force is like a big reason why I want to kind of focus on this before it expires. Because it expires January 7th. Which is sad. Because like, yeah, the 10% XP is nice and whatever, but like the 30 Star Force is so big. It's like three pieces of gear, right? So that's three accessories you don't have to get. Because like, 
this character has not gotten lucky at all for accessories, right? Except one, right? I have one boss drop. I have rose earrings. I have fucking Kubrock shoulders. I have a Treasure Hunter John ring, which everybody can get. I fucking have a... Not even a fucking Penslayer weapon. I have a fucking Jahini. Jahin. Uh, but it is what it is. I started up to 12. Yeah, I like, I even had to star up a few things to 12 stars, 11 stars to hit the fucking Star Force requirement as it is. But, like, this is, like, bare minimum luck you can get. And it still gives me enough Star Force to train at the highest map that I need to train at. So, 160 pillaging wild boars. Uh... Yeah, you're not going to be able I, I'm 30 Star Force, I'm going to be missing. That's three more accessories, yikers. I'm going to run my daily bosses on this character, though, just to see if I get something. Because I would like to get uh, accessories if I can. Just because, why not, right? Gives me a little bit more uh, Star Force, which gives me more raid power. And God knows I need all the raid power I can get. Cause I'm a little, I'm a little raid power coinless broke boy. That's not good. I don't like being a little broke boy. But as you can see, nothing ever drops because that's just the norm. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish this. All right, got nothing from pretty much every boss except Horntail. I didn't do Chaos Horntail because I don't feel like spending the time. But I got Horntail Pendant. I got a fucking Pencilier weapon, and I got Isidus earrings. So. I'm gonna go fix up all this new shit, give me a little bit of extra damage to finish off the level 200 with this character. Another character done. E boy. I'm just gonna EXP potion slash Q upon this character all the way up to 210. Grinding 200 to 210. Not my favorite activity in the world. I'm gonna keep it a stack. So, that's why. I'm chill with just keeping them at 200. Uh, next on the list to coupon slash pot to 200 to 210 though is the Phantom. The Demon Slayer will be th uh next priority after that. Uh, if I can get the Arc to 200 before then, the Arc will probably take priority over this character as well. But. Having it at 200 gives me the option to be able to boost him when I have the resources and no one else better to use it on. Which is the whole point, am I right, boys and girls? Have have you guys gotten sick of watching this yet? Because I sure have. I know I don't have to show you it, but I like to experience it together, you know? I gotta sit through it. Hey, man. I'm going to let you have the option to sit through it with me. Yeah, it's better than grinding the level, but... Listen. Wouldn't be... American if I didn't complain about literally everything. Level 200. All that shit donezo. Just got to make sure I transfer out the title back into the old storage machine. As far as what character I'm going to push from 140 to 200 next, honestly, I could not tell you. I have no idea, man. What I do know is... I mean, I don't know anything. I'm just going to be real with you. Other than the fact that I don't particularly like the fact that... In all of the Maple World now, the only training spots that are relevant are these little special star dots here. And all the other maps are essentially irrelevant. If it's not a star, it's not a real map. I don't like that. I miss being able to have many options. And now I don't have many options. And it's not necessarily a new problem that was invented with this patch. But it is certainly a new problem for Reboot that was invented with this patch. But regular servers have been dealing with this shit for... I mean, the entirety of their existence. And Nexon seems to be completely 
A-OK -okay with the majority of their maps just being completely worthless. And I don't understand why. Who knows? I guess I'll put these chairs in storage too. Who knows where they came from or why I have them. Cool. Hey, uh... Just ran my bosses for the week. Um, duoed Lucid Normal and Slime Normal with a friend to help out. So I got a little bit less meso than normal, but it's okay. I like to play with my friends. Uh, I got another Holy Cup. My current Holy Cup is kind of bad. And I've been meaning to fix it. And I don't really have anything else like super good to flame. So I figure I might as well use these free flames up and it to not be dog shit, basically. Is the goal. We'll see if we achieve said goal. Um, what am I looking for? I mean, I'll know it when I see it, you know? So we'll see if 75 free flames can get us anywhere useful. I looked over my gear and I didn't really have anything else I would consider flaming right now with red flames. Uh, the white flames that I'm getting for free, I might have other things I will use them on, like maybe my weapon. And that's terrible. It's a range increase, but it's terrible. Uh, that's just how bad my current Holy Cup is. It's just something that I've neglected. I know they can go fucking sicko mode. I just have not hit a good one. And that's an upgrade, so I'll swap it out. This is the whole purpose of me having two Holy Cups. I can swap between them till I get one that is hopefully a god roll. Uh, if I don't, though, is what it is. Massive 5% all stat plus like 80 luck would be the dream, you know? Maybe add a little weapon attack in there for funsies. Does not look like we're getting anything done, if I'm being honest with you. We got a slightly better cup than I had, but it's still not great. thing that I would consider white flaming would be my weapon, but I think my weapon's flame is, like, pretty good. For what it is. And I don't really feel like reflaming any of my other gear. It's good enough. Am I gonna white flame this shit? I mean... I'm gonna be using this for, like... Essentially ever, pretty much, so fuck it. Why not, man? Let's hit a nasty fucking cup. Why am I doing this? Because I fucking can, baby. Give me the dream holy cup. From fucking Pink Bean himself, or herself. Whatever Pink Bean would like to be. I'm just looking for the plus attack range, man. I'm doing this so lazily. Stop showing me the minus 200 and start showing me the plus 200, you know what I'm saying? Plus 52. 72 and 5 is actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. There's no weapon attack on it, but, like, beggars cannot be, uh, choosing. 
Is there anything else I could possibly white flame into being better? My Dominator is pretty fucking bad. I can fix it. Uh, 56 and 5? It's not good enough. If that was like 56 and 5 all stats, sure. But it was not. 56 and 5 again, but the wrong kind of 5. 60 and 5, again, the wrong kind of 5. Or 20, not great. Would have been a decent strength flame, the one I rerolled before the, the shitty strength flame. 72 luck with no all stat. Oh my god, where's my luck in all stat, brother? 40 luck in 5 all stat is not enough luck, man. I just... Give me a crumb of luck, please, I'm begging you. Just a crumb, please, sir. Sixty-eight luck and no all stat. You hate to see it. Twenty luck, forty deck, six percent all stat. I mean, that's not very good. Eighty-eight luck flat. I mean, I guess I keep that because I only have three flames left. Sure, why not? 